How to use the gravity forms quiz add-on. Have you ever thought about developing an online quiz for a website? A quiz could be used to provide visitors with something to talk about. So with gravity forms, you can develop an interactive quiz that evaluates answers and gathers user emails for further nurturing. So in this video, we'll demonstrate how to create your own quizzes using gravity forms. Go to your WordPress dashboard, click add-ons, scroll down the page, then install the quiz add-on, and after that, click deactivate. So go to forms. So you can select an existing form or add a new form. So I'll just select an existing form. Go to the advanced fields. Click quiz to start creating your quiz. So you must first create a question before you can create a quiz field. So you might also find it helpful to provide a description for each question. This is helpful if you believe your participants require additional assistance answering the question. So you have the option of using a radio, drop down and check boxes. So your visitors will only be able to select one answer from the radio fields, whereas we'll be able to select multiple answers from the checkbox fields. So for now, I'm going to use the radio buttons. In the edit choices, you have to enter the answers for the quiz here. You can also mark an answer as, as a correct by using the check mark icon to the left of the answer. You also have the options weighted score, order, a randomized order of choices, enable answer explanation. Then you can also customize the field's appearance, enable the conditional logic and configure scoring options. After that, you can simply add an additional quiz field to include additional questions in your quiz or just duplicate the quiz field that you created and just edit it. Let's try to add some page. Click Save Form. Then click Review Form. So here is the outcome of our quiz field. So let's go back to the form and click the form settings. After that, select quiz to set up a grading system for your quiz. So here you will have the option of picking none, pass, fail, letter grading, so by selecting none, you can also disable grading. So you can set the percentage needed to pass the test using the pass and fail option. So however, you can also make use of it at any time to evaluate the performance. Uh, you can also use the letter grade based on the percentage of students who passed. So you have the option to display in the quiz results to anyone who takes the test after setting up the grading system. So after, after that, you have to save the settings and then you're done. That's all. Thank you for watching.